What is up guys? Today I'm gonna talk about knots. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you five uh, basic knots that you need to master when you're out boating. I usually only use these five knots in different variations. So uh, there are plenty enough to be able to do what you gotta do. So my favorite knot is the bowline knot. Um, probably seen it what, and how I do it. There are two ways to do this knot. One is to create an eye. Left hand there, right hand. Turn it over. Lock this little eye here. Take the uh, end, put it underneath. And then round the rest of the rope back in there. And then I just hold here and then I tighten it up like that. Just do another one. Go around, make the eye, go underneath, and come back down, go around, and tighten it up. Good thing about this knot is uh, regardless of more or less the pressure or the tension that has been on this knot, it's really easy to undo it. The best way to open this knot is to turn around and then just pull this one. And it's really easy to open the knot. That's why it's my favorite. First of all, it's easy to do. Easy to make it. It's a fixed eye. Doesn't move. And regardless more or less of the tension you have put it through, it's really easy to open. That's why it's my favorite knot. So I'm going to show you the quick way of doing this. Um, I haven't clocked it, but I know it's pretty fast. And that is that you have the ends like this. That's the end. This is the rest of the rope. Go here. I'm going to have a little, a little extra rope. As you can see. And I take more or less like this. And I take this and put it on. Take the end, put it over the rest of the rope, two fingers above and the thumb underneath and then you just pull this to create the eye. So take the end, put it over and twist it around. And now we got the same eye. You can push this under and around and down again and I have a bow line tie. Let's do it again with the dark rope. So I have the end there, rest of the rope here, put it over, lock it in, fingers, turn it, twist it around, get that eye, pull it through, go under there, and then down here. And it's a bow line tie. And open it up again. Another knot is the square knot. I'll just do, do one. I go underneath and then the other way around. The important thing with this one is that these two come out on the same side of the other rope as well as on the other side these two go under the same piece of rope here. So once again pull it over Get that one under there, and then take the white one and do it like that. It's pretty good to uh, splice two ropes together, but this one can be quite difficult to break uh, loose if it's high tension on it. Um, you can jiggle it a little bit like this and get it loose. Um, but if I'm gonna splice two ropes together that will be under high tension, I usually do. Uh, to bow line, bow line ties, or bow line knots like that, and then I take the other one like so, and put them together. This way, well, spend some more rope doing it, but this is one that I really trust. It will hold the load, uh, it won't move, and even if there's high tension on it, it will be easy to break the knot up. All 
All right, guys, so it's not all times, every time that you have the time and luxury to be able to do a bow line. Bow line knot, uh, especially in, if you're in a hurry and you're alone on the boat uh, and it's quite windy and you just need to get a line ashore. And uh, we'll use this to illustrate what you can find uh, when you come into shore. Uh, it could be a ring, you're not able to put the uh, line over. So, for uh, purposes, I don't know which one is best here. Start with the white one. So what I do here is uh, it's kind of a anchor hitch like that, um, which is really fast. And I can do it again. So just come come ashore in a hurry and just uh, put it on there like that. This one is pretty good. Uh, Take some load, but the problem with this one is, of course, that the eye is moving, uh, and that will be really can get stuck uh, around what you're tying up against, and also it can be uh, a bit hard to uh, loosen if it's been high tension on it. The one I usually do when I'm in a hurry, I usually have the boat tied up or the line tied up to the boat already, uh, and I just have need to tighten up the boat in that case you can't use the end it could be like several meters of um, rope it's just quick to get through get around i use the double double rope like so it's the same thing but you can do it in the middle of the rope which is really helpful uh, if you have the other uh, other line tied to the boat already you can do it one more time So you're in a hurry and you come into a pole, you can toss the rope over, in that case you can use that to hold the boat in and then quickly just over and turn around two times. That will hold the boat per perfect if you have a pole. You come to one of these and just put the rope, usually go at least one to get the tension off the actual knot and the knot you do like turning the rope around, put it over, pull a little bit, and same here, like that. And that's stuck. I never just do this one to begin with, because this one will pull so hard, that it could be difficult to remove that one. So you should go around, and then make two, like that. That's enough. Or if it's really bad weather, put a third one over there. All right, guys. So bonus tip here: uh, if you have a square knot, which I've showed you, like that there's an extra rope. Like that. And you feel that this is not really going to hold, it's going to start creeping around, moving around. What you can do then is the bonus tip here. And this is applicable for like every time you think that the uh, rope can start pulling through the knot. And that's to make the figure eight at the end of each rope. Why figure eight is better than just uh, doing an extra knot is I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so if uh, this uh, has been moving during the night, fast asleep, it will come to a point when it just can't come through anymore. It's another little extra tip. Now I also use the figure eight when I have my fenders out on the on the boat. 
just to make sure that the line won't uh, come through. And why figure eight is better than uh, just doing a knot is that this one is also breakable. So depending on if there's been high tension on it, it's easy to break it up. So and I have fender. Uh, this would be my boat. So I try to find, put it around, adjust it to the correct height. I'm happy. Go through two times. Like so lock it in place. Stuck, but what I usually do sometimes is just around the one that has the fender on it. Put a little anchorage on it, like so. I can even leave a little higher, just to lock it in place in case it starts moving around and then I just can open it up and remove my fender Alright guys, thanks for watching. It was super fun doing this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know in the comments which favorite knots are you using uh, when you're out boating. And also please subscribe, hit that notification so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one.